Hi, my name is Sandra Gutierrez, and the title of my book is A Time for Love and Revolution. It is a romance novel set in Cuba in the time of the revolution between 1957 and 1960. Our protagonist, Maggie, is a 17-year-old from the upper middle class. She has plans to go to Havana in the fall to study law. But she, what she wants to do this summer is to have fun. Her and her friends usually hang out at the country club. There she meets a handsome man, bartender named Roberto. After a few dates, they realize that this is more than a summer fling. In one of Roberto's visits to Maggie in Havana, they go out with their friends to a club. While they're having fun, two of Batista's military officers come in and they drag the bartender outside to beat him. On a gut reaction, Roberto goes outside to help the man and they start to beat him too. After a few days in jail, he is um, recruited by Castro's force to go up and fight in the mountains. Why did I write this novel? Well, I had always wondered my, what my life would have been like had I stayed in Cuba. And uh, I left Cuba when I was six. And the, what I did was I was writing descriptions of places and locations from some kind of memory. Then I, my husband and I, in 2007, we went back. I was so surprised to see that my descriptions were pretty accurate. After I published this novel in English, I went to the book fair to present it, and I met some Spanish publishers who were interested in publishing my novel. So for the next year, what I did is I at home and I rewrote the entire novel. I did not translate it, I rewrote it. It was really a good exercise for me to go back and forth between the two languages. It just, I like it better because the characters are, are Hispanic and so they're, you know, the speech is more normal and there are things you just can't translate. It was interesting because the characters took a life of their own. They were with me 24-7. I went when and took pictures, found actors who I thought would look that, like them and cut their pictures out and had them on my desk.